forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Shao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Ce. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. Liu Bei has yet to find a land and is currently taking refuge with Liu Biao in Jing. He has given Xinye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao. Even though we've taken out Yuan Chao, there sure are a lot of enemies left out there. Yes, we have Zhang Lu and Ma Tang to the west, and Liu Biao and Sun Quan to the south. Wei Kung is in charge of our defenses in the west, but he will be unable to hold out for long if Ma Tang makes his move. At present, Master Cao Ren is defending our southern border. I propose we turn our attention to the west. I agree. Liu Biao doesn't stand much of a chance against Cao Ren. My lord, we should move against Ma Teng in the west. My lord! Cao Ren, we were just talking about you. What is the matter? I am sorry, but I have failed you. Liu Biao's army broke through the Eight Gates formation, and I was forced to withdraw to Wen Castle from Xinye. Liu Bei was serving in Liu Biao's vanguard. But his tactics were unlike anything I've ever seen. Our men are reforming the front lines, but we have to have reinforcements. What? Liu Bei was able to overcome the Eight Gates formation? Master Cao Ren's Eight Gates formation is not something that can easily be defeated by a simpleton such as Liu Bei. That can only mean... My lord, we must assume that Liu Bei has gained the services of a rather capable strategist. Given this new development, we should place our move west on hold for now. It seems Liu Bei has become quite the thorn in my side. We must hurry to Wen Castle and slay Liu Bei on the fields of Xinye. We've received reports that Liu Bei's army is taking a position from Fan Castle all the way to Zhang Ling. Additionally, there doesn't appear to be anybody who looks like a strategist among his ranks. <laughs> then maybe their strategist doesn't look like a strategist. He could be mixed in with the troops like Master Shun Yo is. I wonder what he's like. It's hard to think someone would turn their back on Master Cao Cao to serve Liu Bei instead. He must be rather naive. Although, perhaps that naivete is the key to our success. If we can find out more about this strategist, we can use his weaknesses to our advantage. Maybe so. But first, we need to repel Liu Bei's attack on Wen Castle. I'll take care of that. Very well. However, there are likely to be others who have joined Liu Bei's cause, besides this strategist. Be sure to keep a wary eye on Guan Yu and his other officers. Yes, my lord. Hunt down Liu Bei's army. I want the strategist that is advising him.
It seems they have prepared a strategy for dealing with us. It must be due to this new strategist of his. Approach with caution. to defend this area. This location is of strategic importance. That is why we must protect it. The strategist Shu Shu has joined Liu Bei. He's skilled, but very kind. We can abuse that. Shu Shu's mother lives around here. Search her out! Persuade Lord Cao Cao's son to obey his father? Very well. I'll try. But the son sees his own truth. He will decide how to act for himself. Master Shushu! Your mother has been taken captive by Cao Cao's forces! Mother, this is all my fault. <laughs> all right. There are hoof prints outside Xinye Castle. Hmm. It seems clear that the enemy strategist managed to escape. Let's split up and find him. Now, which set of prints should I follow? Enemy strategist? I think I did see someone hurrying in that direction. Lord Liu Bei is yeah. a man of force. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. I didn't see anyone like a strategist. I don't think they're here. Oh. Oh. The enemy strategist? No, I haven't seen anyone like that. I've learned what I can here. Which direction do we search next? Just in case, we should send some men to cover the other directions as well. Now, let's get started. I've hooked myself a big fish. I only hope I can land this. Yeah. 
I guess that's about all I could have expected. I just hope I have been of some help to my friend, to Shushu. Looks like these false tracks meant to mislead us. If he's not here, we should look to the south. Report! Master Shitao has been defeated by Cao Cao's forces! We must pass the Shunban Bridge in order to reach Jin Lin. As such, I must come up with a plan to deal with Guan Yu. Master Shita. No. I am bringing nothing but pain to those dear to me. Forward is blocked. This must be the work of the peasants supporting Liu Bei. I cannot attack those who are unarmed. There must be another way to break through this encirclement. I have captured this position! Listen to my request. Then, I can probably let you through. Will you? Oh no! Ugh. What should I do? Come to think of it... Lord Cao Cao has reached out to us? Maybe we've misunderstood him. Obey can answer our prayers, unless you think you can. <laughs> Will you listen to my?
Yes. Is that so? You can count on me. The enemy encirclement has collapsed. At last, our army can advance unimpeded. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! It seems Master Guan Yu is in charge of defending the Changban Bridge. This is our chance to face him. Let's go, everybody! Very well done, Master Yue Jin. Shoo Shoo, your petty tricks prove to be quite the annoyance. Those words bring no joy to me right now. Finish this. 
I fight to bring glory to our forces! I cannot proffer a strategy for you. I do not have the talent, I'm afraid. Hmm. I see you are choosing to remain loyal to Liu Bei. However, it matters not. Keep him under watch and transport him back to Xu Chang. He did not seem to be that concerned with his lord's situation. If he already accounted for this particular outcome, is it possible they let us capture Zhang Ling? I am worried that we have overextended our forces. Hmm. A rather astute observation, Master Yue Jin. We are vulnerable to a pincer attack from Sun Xuan and Liu Biao. My lord, we should withdraw from Jianlin. Very well. Give the order for the troops to fall back to Wen Castle. Father, you seem to be having some difficulty. Huh. Yes. I never expected Liu Bei to give me so much trouble. He is a much more formidable opponent than I ever anticipated. We have confirmed that the enemy is marching from Fan Castle. An auxiliary unit moving towards Guandu from Bo Wang Po has also been spotted. It is rather strange that they would divide their already small forces even further. It is an unusually bold move for Liu Bei. So, you're saying that one of them is actually a decoy? Hmm. It doesn't matter if we kill them both. This time, I'll make sure Liu Bei is driven from Jing province for good. I hear that a master spearman is leading the army at Bo Wang Po. I did not know that Liu Bei had such an officer in his employ. A master spearman? Could they be referring to Zhao Yun? I served together with him under Gang Sun Zan. That reminds me. Liu Bei and Gang Sun Zan are old friends. It might explain the connection here. Hmm. So Liu Bei has had another talented officer join his ranks. Eugene, I want you and Xiao Ho Dun to strike Liu Bei's army at Boang Po. I am confident that the two of you can handle this officer with ease. It will be our pleasure, my lord. Hmm. I just had a shiver run down my spine. Something doesn't feel right. Maybe I should go with them. Master Sha Ho Dun, please allow me to accompany you. Suit yourself. I won't ask to hear your prediction on the outcome of this battle, but make sure it's a good one. Liu Biao of Jin is rumored to be quite the coward. If we can make a show of defeating Liu Bei, he is likely to surrender to us on the spot. Our immediate concern is Liu Bei. We must beat him down before he has a chance to rise up. Then we can focus on taking Jing. I'm counting on all of you out there.
Finally, I shall slay Liu Bei and capture Jing Province. The road here was difficult, but it is near its end at last. This way gate shall not be breached. You will face the might of Guan Yu, the long brother of Liu Bei. I could not ask for a better opponent, Master Guan Yu. I look forward to besting you in this encounter. There's something strange about that village. I have a strong feeling that Liu Bei's army is lying there in ambush. If so, we can capture them and extract information on their movements. Let's make our way to the village and find them. Lord Zhang Fei? Handling a fire attack? I hope he can pull it off. Ga! You? Are you with South South's forces? Damn! How did you find us? What about this? This chaos is all so terrible. As if everyday life wasn't bad enough. What's all this noise? That's not a battle nearby, is there? I hope not. We need to get the villagers out of here at once. What? Cao Cao's forces? How did they find us? <laughs> What about this? I hope Wan Castle and Fan Castle managed to fight off Cao Cao's forces. Oh, uh, Cao Cao's forces? Why are you talking to me? What about this? Ah, uh, I hope the fire attack goes well. What is this? Cao Cao's forces? How did they know where to find us? Suddenly told to abandon our village? Uh, can they stop dragging us into this? Oh. 
There's something strange. If... Uh, I'm still worried about this. Does Lord Jugo Liang have more troops ready? Ah, we've been found! Cao Cao's forces are here! Cao Cao's forces have found us. We need to abandon this place. Everything is going just as I hoped. That will prove to be useful information.
get it? That's where we're supposed to attack. Join up with the Allied forces and crush the enemy resistance. What about this? does not stand a chance against our might. Challenge my limits! Excellent! I've got a feeling that this is a trap. I should pretend I've fallen for it as I chase after him. I fight to bring glory to our forces! I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! Wow, they're better than I thought. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. I have captured this position! I will not allow anyone to impede the path of Master Liu Bei. I will fight with all I have! Base fire attack unit has been defeated! Impossible! Master Zhang Fei has been defeated! And we will have to endure without the support of fire attack. Report! The attack on Wind Castle has failed! Jian Yong has been defeated too! Excellent! No, not Master Jian Yong. And now, I must fight for the both of us! I will shield Master Liu Bei with my body if I must. You will not pass me. Defensive positions! I must challenge my You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms, Yue Jin. Stop being so modest. Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. What about this? Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. Where we're supposed to attack. Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. What about this? What about this? Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. What about this? Target is that parcel 
a blade. Yeah. Proven unworthy. Forgive me. Yes, you may. Excellent work, everyone. Your efforts serve to deal Leo Bay a crippling blow. What about this? He sure knows how to run from a fight. Liu Bei's strategist goes by the name of Juga Liang. His tactics are of an uncommon brilliance. He is widely known throughout Jing province as the Sleeping Dragon. Despite possessing great wisdom and keen insight, he did not serve any one master. It is hard to fathom why he would ever agree to serve the lowly Liu Bei. Yes, I have heard of both the Sleeping Dragon and the Fledgling Phoenix before. It seems Liu Bei has done quite well for himself. We have received a message from Liu Biao. It appears he wishes to surrender to us. Perfect. That means Liu Bei is on his own now. All units, prepare to march south on Fan Castle. This time, we will finally put an end to the pathetic Liu Bei.